Um, I got a job at Starbucks, <laughs> and, the, and the second that I got this job, the guy that fucking hired me gets fired uh, for, I guess, for being, like, creepy or some shit or, like, something crazy happened, and he gets fired like that. And so I had this weird insecurity where I was like, was it me? Was it because he hired me? Like, I got real weird and insecure about it. Uh, I kind of like that job, actually. I really, I did enjoy working at Starbucks. I got f a bunch of free coffee. I got to make a bunch of weird drinks for me, like, that nobody else fucking liked except me, and it was awesome. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, like, I made really good friends, uh, that I need to fucking do a better job of keeping up with. And, uh, and, like, I got, like, some of the regulars were cool. I got to hang out with some, like, uh, Lou and Fast Eddie. Like, I'll never forget those, those guys. They were fucking awesome. World War II vets. You know, like, they, and they would get, like, real serious with me every once in a while. And then they would fuck with me a whole bunch. They were awesome. I really fucking liked them. So I would, like, go. And then, I, and then what I started doing, too, was by the end of the summer, I was showing up 30, 30 minutes early just to get a cup of coffee ahead of time to sit outside and bullshit with Fast Eddie and Lou and like every all the other fucking regulars that were there because it was fun like I had a good time because of the fucking people that were showing up so then I wanted to like keep that going right because I was like I'm not getting work study like I stopped getting work study my junior year it just didn't happen or, or I didn't put in for it something happened and I did get work study um, and so my junior year of college, I worked at Starbucks on the weekends and I worked uh, on, at one by the campus. Uh, and there was another girl that I fucking had a crush on. So I was like real excited to work the weekends because she also worked weekends and she went to a different college and I thought she was super pretty. Uh, and you know, like I maybe hung out with her off campus like once you know, like, a nod at Starbucks once, like, that, that sort of shit, but I never had the fucking balls to ask her out either, um, I, I never, I, like, that's, that's just who I was in college, like, that's a part of me that I was just like, ugh, I'm glad I'm not fucking like that anymore, um, now as an adult, I'm just like, I don't know if this girl likes me, and whatever they do, I'm like, what do they want from me? Is it money? Do you want money? <laughs> but, uh, I, I, so then I had to get transferred for Christmas break, right? Because I had like three weeks off for Christmas break. And I had to get transferred from the, uh, the store by my college back to my original store that I started working at. And when that happened, the new manager at the store by my college decided that he's not going to hire me back. So I got, I was just like, what? So the assistant managers there were just like, we don't know why, why you're not in the schedule. This is really fucking weird. All your paperwork, all your transfer stuff is done, but he just hasn't added you to the payroll or the, or the schedule. And it's really weird. And then I, and then I was like, all right. So then the first week of this new semester starts but for my junior year. And I'm like, I still like, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of nice that I have, like, a weekend or two, but I kind of want to, like, not be broke all the time. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then I get a call, and they're like, can you come down to the store? And, uh, the, one of the assistant managers was just like, we don't know what's going on, but Steve said you're not welcome back at the store. And I was like, what? And he's like, nobody understands what the fuck happened. But he basically said, like, he left at the busy time. He's not here for this. He's not here. He's not part of the team. He's not part of the family. Blah, blah, blah. So he's like, what we're going to do is call your home store and see if their manager can take you back on board. Because we don't want you to be screwed because this guy doesn't, like, he, like he's like, nobody's ever complained about you. Like, that's crazy that that's, this is happening. So... I got retransferred back to the original store. So every weekend, every Friday, I didn't have Friday classes that semester. So every Friday, I would wake up, I would go and like get lunch with one of my friends, and then I would come back, I would pack up my shit, and I would drive, and I would drive like 45 minutes to an hour, and I would 
uh, I would have to go home every weekend. Uh, and I was fucking miserable. Miserable about it. I fucking hated it. Because I never got to see my friends. Because every Friday, I'd fuck off to go work. And I would always work closing shift on Friday. And I would work, like, another closing shift on Saturday. And then I would work, like, mid-shift on Sunday so I could drive my ass back to campus, unpack, get my work done for Monday morning, and start the week all over again. And I hated it. I was so fucking miserable. I was so fucking miserable, and I was so fucking alone the entire time. Because I never, I didn't want to be at home because I know my dad was going to fucking give me shit about it. And all of my other friends from home, like all my friends from like high school and stuff that I was like really close with, they were on campus. They fucking, they, they weren't at home. They weren't, you know, and even when they were like, I'm working fucking six or seven hour shifts, so I never got to see anybody. So that kind of sucked. And, uh, and by the end of the semester... You know, I was like, I don't know how long I can keep doing this. And I got, and I went back in for the summer, the summer before my senior year of college. Um, And I think that was the last uh, that I worked at Starbucks because at the end of it, I got an internship, uh, which is all like internships are fucking bullshit. Uh, You should pay your people, Uh, pay them something. You know, fucking get them some. Fifty bucks a day. I don't give a shit. You gotta pay them some. Uh, I talk about that on my show too. But anyway, but uh, yeah, I got an internship, so I was like, I can't handle making this drive and being in school and having this internship. Like, I think it's a bad idea. It's a bad look. So I just, uh, I, I, I quit that job. And then I got this internship, and I did this internship for the semester, um, and and that was okay. But again, it was like once I kind of knew, I started like not spending any money for a month, and then I started like not having any money, period, and trying to figure out what I was going to do for a job. Uh, and it, and meanwhile, by the way, I'm still doing stand up on campus. Like I'm still doing stand up like on campus and around campus and stuff like that and uh I didn't like I didn't fucking know what to do you know like I was fucking dead broke the, my entire senior year of college um I like never had any money I never had any money uh I think at one point I got my job back at Subway and I just remember driving back from Subway, like I worked Saturday, Sundays again, and I was like, I feel like I'm fucking 14 all over again, man. Like, it sucks. And I remember, like, freaking the fuck out on one of my drives of just, like, realizing what where my life is going. And I was like, I have $132 in my bank account, and I'm, and I'm working this fucking shitty job. And I hate it, and everything sucks, and I just fucking freaked out and started crying in the car, and I'm screaming, uh, and I just felt awful. Uh, so I only worked at Subway for maybe a month because I like couldn't deal with it. I just fucking had to spaz out. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, This is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, You can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. uh, Share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, And another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Krish Mohan. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.